Hello and welcome to a short tutorial on how to use the 3D printer. The first thing to do is to turn the printer on. It's, uh, the switch is on the black box behind the printer. It will make a humming noise when you start it. Then you're going to open the Simplify 3D software on the desktop connected to the printer. Because you turned on the machine, the device connected notification will appear. In order to speed things up, we're going to start heating the bed and the nozzle while we are importing our parts. So we're going to go to the tool menu and go to the machine control panel. On the machine control panel, you have the extruder and the heated bed that you want to turn on. They will start to heat up. Do not touch them. Okay, so while they're heating, we're going to import the parts we need to print. So I go to the file menu, import model, and on the desktop your parts should be saved. So in my case I have a Pentagon box bottom, so I'm opening that. And it came into the program at a very odd angle. Okay, that's not a good printing angle. I would need to use a lot of different support material to print it that way. The bottom should be on the bottom surface. So I will click on, so I'll click on edit, and I will say place surface on bed. we will choose the bottom of the box and it will just flip onto that surface. If you do not have any flat surfaces, it may be a little more difficult to print your item. Usually you want to have a flat surface on the bed of the machine. Now I'm also going to print the top at the same time. So I'm going back to the file menu, import model, choosing the top, and it also came in at a very odd angle. So I'll click on the edit menu again, place surface on bed, choose the surface. Now it actually kind of piled up my parts and I don't want that. So I'm going to click on center and arrange and it will automatically give me an ideal printing situation. Good. So over here under processes, I have some options. I have normal fill, support with normal fill, light fill, and support with light fill. I don't need any support for this part. I don't have any overhanging surfaces that will need to be supported by other material. If I printed this the original way it came in, I would definitely need some support material. If you have something that looks somewhat bridge-like, where there's material that does not have anything supporting it when it needs to be printed, then you'll have to use the support material. Choosing the light fill will also reduce the amount of time it takes to actually print. Unless you need something very strong, I suggest that you go with the light fill options. Support will also take longer to print. So ideally, you can print without using support material. So I'm going to choose the light fill option, and I'm going to click prepare to print will ask me again which process selection I want and I just want the light fill and then I click OK. I'm not going to change any of the other settings. So it gives me a preview of what my build will look like. It also tells me approximately how much time it will take, how much filament it will use, and the material cost. If everything looks good, then I click begin printing over USB. It says it's preheating the bed because it's still not up to temperature yet. You can see that the bed is at 60.9 right now, 61.2, etc. The nozzle is up to the appropriate temperature, so once the bed is finished preheating, it will start to print. Now for this example, I'm not actually going to let it print. I'm going to stop it. But if during your print anything goes wrong, it's not sticking, something's really off, you're going to click on the emergency stop button. Because I'm stopping this before it actually even starts, I'm just going to click on stop. Okay, I could then, if I was now ready to print, print that again and it would print that file. Thanks for watching.